and we're and we're going to talk about these stories. Like, I mean, Franklin right here, I DC three hundred a month at the start of Hex. I'm telling you, like, there's stories like that. I, same thing. Like, I mean, it was, I did not get my first Bitcoin from one big shot. It was twenty, forty dollars at a time to get that first BTC. But I did it. It's just when you don't have money, time is your friend. And right now, time's ticking. Time's ticking. You know, we only have so much, much longer and stuff like we've been we've been screaming at the top of our lungs since November till all of 2023. I hope you guys have been accumulating because that's when this when when the end the, right now it's on idle. As soon as this engine turns on, fuck, you're just gonna be like, oh my god, because these price like what ends up happening is like I'll use I like because like a lot of you guys are in pulse chain. I'll make it like it just what it sounds normal, right? What will end up happening is that this million pulse chain that you can buy for thirty four dollars goes to a buck fifty crashes to 80 and doesn't go below $80 anymore. And then the next time it shoots up, it, sh it goes up to like four or $500 per million. And then it comes back down and it's chilling at $180, $200. It's not going back to 34 anymore. That's it. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe in the bear market, if everything really is bad, but like that's what happens is that you've basically lost a ton of X's basically. You, I, I have a meme for this. Can I share Please. it? Yeah, please. No <laughs> so this this meme is the meme of the month for September, and it's the start of the phase that you're you're describing here. So uh, let me know when it's we, up there. Okay, it is up. All right. So this is basically what DCC is describing here, right? There, we're at very very low prices for some people, right? They can't handle it, right? And they say, "I'm selling before it dips anymore," right? I, I promise, I'll buy back lower. Don't worry. Right. And then they look back at it a few months later. They look the prices up and they're like, hey, why did I sell it a 50 percent loss? Hmm. I'm a dumbass. Right. And, and like, you know, it, there's some people that beat themselves up with that opportunity cost. Right. And right. I'm not saying, you know, um, you can't sell and, and buy back lower and, and, you know, not have some success with that. Um, but you don't do it with the whole bag. And especially if it's something that's brand new, like Pulse Chain, that has so much growth potential in it like DCC was describing there with um, the whole, you know, uh, ecosystem, basically, right. then why, why would you sell at the bottom, essentially, or at least close as close to it as it can be? Because what people tend to do if they sell towards the bottom is then when you if it does go lower, and they get a real bottom, they get greedy in the opposite way, they want more coins. And so they wait, and they wait, and they wait. And then this 50%, why did I sell at a 50% loss? When basically now the price is going to go up and to the right, you not only lost money, but then you lost opportunity costs. And it's just like, man, that hurts. That's like getting a double whammy just from both sides. 